uh, on August 13th, 2010, I just pulled up and the alert went off. East Jefferson and Dickerson, East Jefferson and Dickerson, we have a commercial building on fire. We were one of the first companies on the scene, and since all the fire was in the second floor, we were trying to take all the plywood off the windows so that way we could uh, get water on the fire. We were just standing on the sidewalk. We weren't even inside the building, and uh, somebody yelled out, caution, that uh, they, they saw something wrong. And before I had the chance to uh, to look up, I saw bricks coming down in front of me. Central, this is Agent 38. We need multiple AMS, multiple firemen down. 238, multiple units have been requested. Central, we need everybody here. We got three confirmed men down. The roof has collapsed. We need everybody here now. You're actually taught uh, in training in a collapse situation to run towards the collapse, but uh, all human instincts uh, kind of take over and I actually turned to run away, and I thought that I had a good jump on it. I thought that I could get away from it, but uh, that wasn't wasn't the case. It uh, it caught up to me, and I just felt something hit me in the back and throw me down into Jefferson. I knew instantly that I was paralyzed. My phone started ringing. I heard there was you know an accident at a fire, and then uh, names started trickling through. And when I heard Doogie's name, it was you know just crushed. Doogie's like a kind of like a, another little brother. You know, there's a lot of rumors flying, there's nobody really knows, not information, it's not getting through, but you knew the injuries were pretty bad. It's one of those days you'll never forget. It's like a 9-11 or, uh, you know, uh, when Kennedy was shot, you just don't forget that day. I mean, I remember it so vividly. Out of the seven of us that were injured at the fire, uh, four of us critically and two of us shared an ambulance to receiving right from the scene. I was inpatient in the hospital for two months. Uh, it was pretty much two months to the day before I was uh, discharged and started my outpatient program. We decided to go with the Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan after uh, researching facilities around the country while I was inpatient. The inspiration there is it's, it's indescribable. Back in March of 2011, I wasn't able to, to stand up. I wasn't able to get vertical at all. I was confined to a chair. In, when you get to the Center for Spinal Cord Injury Recovery, their goal is to get you out of your chair. They're not going to let you sandbag it. They're not going to let you. Uh, they're not going to let you give up. You know, they're there to uh, to push you. I never imagined that I'd be crawling on the ground. I never imagined that I'd be walking with braces. And uh, after a year of being down there, now we're doing these things. From the staff, the other patients. As soon as as soon as you walk through the doors or roll through the doors. Um, you just, you, 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 get a, you get a sense of achievement. Every patient there is just happy to be there, working hard towards bettering themselves and making their life, their quality of, improving their quality of life.